Hello guys, welcome to the Switching Theory and Logic Design Tutorial. I'm Rigvid Alankar from Retech CSE second year and this tutorial is about BCD Subtractor. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. Now before I discuss the rest of the slides with you, we should know what the terms BCD and Subtractor mean. Now coming on to BCD, what is BCD? Although the binary number system is the most natural system for a computer. Most people, including me, are more accustomed to the decimal system. One way to resolve this difference is to convert the decimal numbers to binary, perform all arithmetic calculations in binary, and then convert the binary results back to decimal. This method requires that we store decimal numbers in the computer so that they can be converted to binary. Since the computer can accept only binary values, we must represent the decimal digits by means of a code that contains ones and zero. It is also possible to perform the arithmetic operations directly on decimal numbers when they are stored in the computer encoded form. And that's where binary coded decimal encoding comes to play. In computing and electronic systems, binary coded decimal is a class of binary encodings of decimal numbers where each decimal digit is represented by a fixed number of bits, usually 4 or 8. Let's say we have to find the BCD or the binary coded decimal form of the number 11. So we will represent each digit of the decimal number 11 by a string of 4 bits. So first we will consider the unit digit of 11 that is 1. So 1 when represented by a binary string of 4 bits will be, re will be represented as 0 0 1. Okay now coming on to the tens digit. Now we have to represent 1 again by a string of 4 bits and that is again represented by 0 0 0 1. Hence, we have the BCD form of 11, which is re represented as 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Easy, right? Okay, let's say I have to calculate the BCD form of 25. First, we'll consider the unit's digit of 25, which is 5. Now, 5, when represented by a binary string of 4 bits, is represented as 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, now coming on to the tens digit, which is 2. Now, 2, when represented by a binary string of 4 bits, is represented as 0, 0, 1, 0. Hence, the BCD form of 25 is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, easy, right? Now, subtractor. As the name suggests, subtractor is an electronic circuit that subtracts two numbers, y and x. Okay, now let's move on to the next slide. BCD subtraction. Addition of signed BCD numbers can be performed by using nines or tens complement methods. Complement, a new word. But what does it mean? Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll tell you what complement is and its importance in the field of electronics. Okay, complements. Complements are used in digital computers to simplify the subtraction operation and for logical manipulation. Simplifying operations lead to simpler, less expensive circuits to implement the operations. Now, there are two types of complements for each base or system the radix complement and the diminished radix complement. The first is referred to as the, uh, as the R's complement and the second as the R minus 1's complement. Okay, let's say we have a number in base 10. So, the radix complement will be the 10's complement and the diminished radix complement will be the 9's complement. Okay, now moving on. A negative BCD number can be expressed by taking the 9's or 10's complement. Okay. Let us see BCD subtraction using 9's complement and BCD subtraction using 10's complement numbers and BCD subtraction process using it. 9's complement. The 9's complement of a decimal number is formed by subtracting each digit in the number from 9. The 9's complement of each of the decimal digit is as follows. Okay. Here we, here we have a table where we have all the decimal digits and their corresponding 9's complement. Now, how do we calculate the 9's complement of any given decimal digit. Let's say I pick the decimal digit 0. Now I have to calculate the 9's complement of 0. So what I'll do is I'll subtract 0 from 9. So which is 9 and hence we obtain the 9's complement of any given decimal digit. Easy isn't it? Now same, case, same goes for 1. I'll subtract 1 from 9. It yields 8 and this is 9's complement of 1 that is 8. Same goes for 2. Subtract 2 from 9 which yields 7 and same goes for the rest of the decimal digits. Okay. BCD subtraction using 9's complement. In 9's complement subtraction, 
When nine's complement of smaller number is added to the larger number carry is generated, it is necessary to add this carry to the result. This is called an end around carry. When larger number is subtracted for smaller one, there is no carry, and the result is a nine's complement form and negative. This is illustrated in the following examples. Okay, let's move ahead. Now here we have a set of three examples, A, B, and C. Okay, so we'll subtract two numbers using the employing the regular subtraction method and the nine's complement subtraction method. Okay, now in the first example, example A, we're subtracting two numbers, eight and two. So employing the regular subtraction method, when two is subtracted from eight, it yields six. But the, but that is not so in the case of nine's complement subtraction. First, we need to calculate the nine's complement of two. So to calculate the nine's complement of two, as I've already said, we'll subtract two from nine, which yields seven. Now we will add the ninth complement of two to eight, which yields fifteen. Now there is an end carry in the result, which is obtained by adding eight and the ninth complement of two. Now in the previous slide, let's go to the previous slide, and it states that if it is necessary to add this carry to the result, if an end carry is generated, right? So what we'll do is we'll add this carry. Now we we are we are having fifteen. So what we'll do is we'll this additionally generated carry will be added to the ones digit of the result obtained by adding 8 and the 9th complement of 2 which is 15 so that is 5 and we'll add 1 to 5 which yields 6 which is also the answer that is obtained by employing the regular subtraction method okay now we'll go on to the next example which is example b now here we have subtracting 13 from 28 Okay, now employing the regular subtraction method, it yields 15. In the ninth complement subtraction, the same procedure will be applied. Uh, the the same procedure will be applied that the one we employed in example A. So what we'll do is we'll calculate the ninth complement of 13, which is obtained by subtracting 13 from 99, which is 86, and then we'll add it to 28, which yields 114. Okay, we have an additionally generated carry, so we will add that to the result and it yields 15 which is the same answer that is generated by employing the regular subtraction method now look at example c example c is different from the rest of the examples as we can see that we are subtracting a larger number so here in we are subtracting uh, 24 from 18 so we all know that 24 is greater than 18 so employing the regular subtraction method we'll get negative of 6 okay so in the ninth complement subtraction we'll first calculate the ninth complement of 24 which is 75 and then we will add it to 18 which yields 93 now there's no end carry which in now this there's no end carry this indicates that the answer is negative so what we'll do is we will calculate the ninth complement of uh, 93 which is 6 and we'll put a negative sign in front of it okay now from the above examples we can summarize steps for the ninth complement bc subtraction as follows First, we need to find the ninth complement of a negative number. Add two numbers using BCD addition. If carry is generated, add carry to the result. Otherwise, find the ninth complement of the result. Easy, isn't it? So, we'll move on to the next slide. Oh, here we have the four bit BCD subtractor using ninth complement method. So, we, we have the circuit in here. The circuit, four bit BCD subtractor using ninth complement method circuit. So, that is divided in three parts. So as we can see, there is the ninth complement circuit part, the BCD adder circuit, and the carry part. Okay. So in the ninth complement circuit, first it will calculate uh, the ninth complement of uh, the minus end. Okay. And then we'll add the ninth complement of minus end uh, to the BCD adder circuit, and we'll check for carry. If the carry is equal to one, the circuit adds one in the re result. Okay. And we do not have to find the ninth uh, complement. And if the carry is equal to zero, uh, this indicates that uh, the minus end is larger in magnitude than the supra end, and we'll this is a negative answer. So what we'll do is we'll find the ninth complement of the result. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. B series subtraction using tens complement. Now the B series subtraction using tens complement can be used to perform subtraction by adding the minus end to the tens complement of the supra end and dropping the carry. This is illustrated in ed exam following examples. Here we have a set of three examples and two methods are employed, uh, regular subtraction and tens complement subtraction. 
so an example a so here eight is called uh, subtrahend and two is called the minor one okay so this is the term the term that we use in electronics to refer to two numbers when we subtract it. oh my bad uh, uh oh my bad sorry uh here eight is called the minor and two is called the subtrahend so hope you i'm sorry for the mistake that i've committed uh so let's get to it uh we so using the regular subtraction method subtracting two from eight once again yield six and in the tens complement subtraction well, first we need to calculate the tens complement of two so actually uh, the tens complement of any given number is obtained by subtracting that number from 10 okay so the tens complement of 2 that is subtracting 2 from 10 yields 8 okay now adding 8 to 8 yields 16 now there's a carry we need to drop that carry hence 6 is our ultimate uh, final answer okay moving on to the next part subtracting 13 from 28 yields 15 when employed the when we employ the regular subtraction method similarly in the Tens complement subtraction. We will first calculate the tens complement of thirteen. So since thirteen is a two-digit number, so we have to subtract it from ten raised to the power uh, raised to the power number of digits in thirteen, which is two. So ten to the power of two is hundred. So subtracting thirteen from hundred yields eighty-seven. We added to twenty-eight, which yields one hundred and fifteen. Now since there there is an additional carry, we'll drop that carry, and we get fifteen. Moving on to the next part. Twenty-four, eighteen minus twenty-four. Now, since 24 is larger in magnitude than 18, employing the regular subtraction method, we get minus 6. Using the tens complement subtraction, now since the number of digits in 24 is equal to 2, we have to subtract them from 100. Now, 100 minus 24 yields 76. Adding that to 18 gets 94. Now, that there is no additional carry, which indicates that the answer is negative, and we need to calculate the tens complement form. So, calculate the tens complement of 94 yields 6, and we will place a negative sign in front of it. From the above examples, we can summarize steps for the tens complement BCD subtraction as follows. Find the tens complement of a negative number. Add two numbers using BCD addition. If carry is not generated, find the tens complement of the given result. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any doubt, I refer you to go to Google or any other like sites, and uh, or either you can look for uh, topics in. Uh, um, Morris Mano and various other books like uh, R.K. Gupta and etc. Uh, so thank you for watching the video.